a solution that would not have this restriction of uh, being able to render phantom sources or virtual sources between the two loudspeakers of a stereo system, make use of so-called crosstalk cancellation. Crosstalk refers to the signal from, let's say, the right loudspeaker in a stereo system that spills over to the left ear, to the contralateral ear. This is called crosstalk. And um, what the way these systems work is that um, the crosstalk from, let's say, the right loudspeaker to the left ear is predicted, and then the left ear sends a signal to cancel out that crosstalk. So uh, the signal is the crosstalk is predicted, and then a signal is radiated uh, at the right moment with the uh, opposite algebraic sign. And then, in the ideal case, the crosstalk and the cancellation signal they cancel out each other perfectly at the contralateral ear. But of course, unfortunately, the cancellation signal also produces crosstalk to the right ear in this case, so that you need to cancel the cross the, the cancellation signal of the crosstalk. And then, of course, that signal will also spill over, so you have an infinite recursion. But fortunately, it um, it converges, so that you eventually arrive at a stable solution. And this allows you to control the ear signals of the listener independently of each other. So you can, again, make use of head-related transfer functions and perform binaural audio reproduction over loudspeakers that are located away from the user, not, that are not mounted in, uh, in the headphones. This works with two loudspeakers, but you can also do this with more loudspeakers, with a loudspeaker array, for example, then all these loudspeakers will uh, be active at the same time and they will then uh, take care that there will be con constructive interference of the signals at the ipsilateral ear and destructive interference at the contralateral ear so that you can again use binaural signals uh, to render spatial information. Um, it, the situation tends to be more stable, more robust with a loudspeaker array, you can imagine tiny movements of the user's head uh, can dramatically change the crosstalk that occurs and this, it is only uh, possible to predict it with certain accuracy. So any, any uncertainty in this, any inaccuracy in the system in terms of, for example, loudspeaker gain or the reflection of a wall or so can impair the experience dramatically. So the upsides are you can do a 3D, you can render 3D localization cues without headphones. Um, ah, sorry, this is single user only, that is a downside, that's not an upside. Um, because if you want to control the ear signals at a second or even more users inside that scene, you will uh, notice very soon that uh, this is not possible. The downside is that single user and it's not robust, meaning that uh, certain inaccuracies in the system, as I've said, or movement of the listener can totally impair the experience.